This is the question given in J main April 2024. I don't think one can do this question in two minutes. If you find any other easy method than this which can be done in two minutes, please comment below. So it is helpful to the other students. First, you read the question and understand the question. Now I'll explain the data. There are 220 students are there. In that, three things are there. Max, Physics, Chemistry, three subjects are there. They are saying that, you know, what is this data? This is the students who study all three subjects. I take in those who are studying all three subjects as X. In the question, they given 40 students study both Max and Physics. They given this. So, Max and Physics total 40 students. Na? As I take in this part as X, so, this will be 40 minus x. You see, if you add these two, 40 minus x plus x is 40. So, 40 students study both max and physics. Similarly, similarly, they are saying that 30 students study both physics and chemistry. As I taken this as x, physics and chemistry 30 students. So, the remaining part will become 30 minus x. Similarly, they given 50 students study both chemistry and mathematics. So that's why this full part is 50 as I taken this is x, this is 50 minus x. Now what I'll calculate, I'll calculate n of m union p union c. What is that? This plus, this plus, this plus, this plus, this plus, this plus, this. Okay. I added all these things. I got like this. Okay. Now they are saying that 10 students none of these three subjects actually total 220 students are there na? so then this m union p union c will be 210 from this if i simplify you take uh, these things to right hand side part i got max plus physics plus chemistry is 90 plus 2x okay and whatever this zone is there this cannot be negative 30 minus x this must be greater than or equal to 0 like that all these three things must be greater than or equal to 0 if I simplify this, I got that x less than or equal to 40. If I simplify this, I got x less than or equal to 30. See here, none of them, it is the, what is the x, x value, we must take such a way that all these three must be positive. So, when I take intersection of all these three, I will get x less than or equal to 30. You, when you take x value, any number less than 30, in that case only, this must be greater than or equal to 0. Suppose if I take x is 31, suppose if I take x is 31, if, if you take here, put x equal 31, this cannot be positive. So, intersection of all these things, if I take, I got x less than or equal to 30. This is one main equation, keep it in your mind. Come back here, they given that at least 125 and at most 130 students study mathematics. See, mathematics means this whole part this whole part see i added these things i added this four and i written it lies in between 125 and 130 because they are saying at least 125 at most 130 then i simplified this i got this equation similarly they are saying that at least 85 and at most 95 study physics physics means this part see i added all these and as they given at least 85 at most 95 when I simplify this, I got this equation. Okay. Similarly, third information given at least 75, at most 90 study chemistry. So I added all these and at least 75, at most 90. If I simplify, I got this equation. Now I added equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. After adding this equation 1, 2, 3, I got like this. Now you see here, we got max plus physics plus chemistry equal to 90 plus 2x na? in place of this i written 90 plus 2x so finally i got this inequality when i simplify this i will get this this is the second main one so here i taken it as double star see star double star you observe x must be less than or equal to 30 x cannot be greater than 30 here this says that x value lies in between 15 and 45 as x must be less than or equal to 30, final conclusion is x value lies in between 15 and 30. That means 
what is x x is number of students who study all three subjects in the question they given m and n respectively the least and most number of students who studied all three subjects so here from this equation i got that least number of students who studied all three subjects is 15 maximum number of student who studied all three subjects is 30 so m value is 15 n value is 30 so m plus n is 45 it is a integer based question for this problem answer is 45 i hope you understand this solution if you like this video please drop a like share this video with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to this channel subscribe now thanks for watching take care bye bye